Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV, guys. I'm be reacting to when delusional woke people get old. Guys, let's get straight into this. When you target someone by attaching their name to your joke, that's okay. Yeah, but I'm not inciting people. You are inciting people. You're normalizing. Every, every single person I've spoken to about the things that you have said about me don't understand any of it. And if You're I just sit there and interrogate the people who are alleging things about me, I can just sit there and explain to them the context and they go, well, that's not very important, is it? You're normalizing this kind of language. Here are some I, I'm normalizing your... comedy because at this point, comedy is under attack in this country. Here is I mean, I'm being investigated for a joke. Pages. I can name other comedians who are being investigated for jokes. We have gone down a very dark path. As, the, as Orwell says, printed on the front of this building, if liberty is to mean anything at all, it must mean the right to tell people that which they don't want to hear. Do Here you stand by that or not? This is the BBC. Does the BBC stand by that or not? Here are some comments from your social I'll media pages. No. We're living in a time now where a comedian can't even make a joke yeah. without someone trying to cancel him. It's ridiculous. We've got to like, start explaining are, jokes like... and genders, otherwise people just have no idea what the fuck's going on. What a brilliant, what a brilliant idea. What do you mean just stop oil? All your stuff is made out of oil, you idiots. Your clothes, these jackets, they're all made out of oil. What the hell are you doing here making a nuisance of yourselves? It's a joke. Get out the road. You're wasting everybody's time and petrol. All these guys, their engines are running all the time, wasting more bloody oil, you nutters. What is this made out of? What are your clothes made out of? How did your clothes get here? They got here by oil. What are you doing? This makes no sense at all, just stop all, oil. You like... haven't thought about this. If you want to stop oil, you need to stay at home and go and live in the forest. I've done a video about these Muppets before, they're called Just Stop Oil and they basically want to put an end to climate change but the way they're doing it is just annoying and like he said most of the things they use including their yeah. tactics involve oil so what they're doing is not helping it's actually just making things worse and it's it just annoying people. Them, I don't think half of them actually even care about what they're doing I think they just want to be part of something and they yeah. love the attention. So refugees welcome the perfect people. Folks I'm just wondering uh, you're a part of this organisation? Yeah. You're a part of this organisation yeah? I'm just wondering, I have a sign up form. I'm just wondering, would you like to sign up? It's to have unvetted male migrants in your own home. Would you like to sign up? Sir? I'm not in a position. To... You're, not, you're not in a position. So who do you suppose would house them then? Would anyone like to house unvetted male migrants in their home? <laughs> One person? Anyone? I have a sign up form. They're welcome. I don't have a house. There's a housing crisis. Who would like to house an unvetted male migrant in their home? Anyone? No I don't one. know what. My God. What the Absolutely fuck no one. Zero. Here, bro. I literally have a sign up form right here. So, where do we house them? Where do we house them? It's a complex issue, just once you understand, but uh, absolutely no one is going to house any of them in their home, unvetted male migrants. I'm just saying. You're a fing clown. Okay, I'm a foot. Would you want to house male migrants in your home, unvetted male migrants? Yes or no? Yes or no? I'm just asking a question. I don't have a home, I'm not racist. I want to, I, welcome refugees, just where do we put them? Yeah, it's all well and good going out on the street and saying, yeah, let everybody in the country, but as soon as they get in the country, you don't want anything to do with them. Yeah. You're going to be the first people complaining when there's problems. And it's nothing to do with being racist or having anything against immigrants. It's just stupid to let people in the country without any jobs, Fuck. no money and no opportunities. When you say, hey, we have black students at a particular school, who aren't performing at that school as well, the immediate assumption that you're making is, well, maybe it's because they're not smart enough, they're, they're not good enough, or they don't belong here. Whereas it could be about the experience that they're having at that institution. Professors who believe that they're not intelligent enough, that they don't have the capability to do the work, that they see them as criminals, deviants, dangerous, up to no good, or they talk about them with a they statements. They're lazy, they don't care, they don't really belong here. Uh, you're, they're you're only here for the financial I'm giving you actual facts. No, right? I'm giving so you can, actual facts based upon extensive research. We can fantasize. You can say, well, maybe they just don't feel done. good. Um, but that's not the case. I mean, I went, I went to university. I did not feel good, right? I, I didn't pull the best grades in high school, probably got into a better university than I should have gotten into based on my performance in high school. It wasn't because of my feelings. It's because I wasn't focused on it. And that we're talking about a cultural problem, what's going on back at home, as was in my circumstance. And none of that is because of institutionalized policy. Um, it almost seems like you guys refuse to accept 
that, you know, black students aren't performing well, you feel like you have to have this burden of responsibility when, in fact, if you actually wanted to help, you would look at the facts, re-examine the fact that it's not helping anybody, it's not helping black Americans to artificially place them into universities, and you'd make effective change. But you're making the assumption that black students are academically inferior, and they're not. No, they're you some are, of our actually, most that's, brilliant that's what, that's students the, that's that we the have. That's the basic, no, 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 that you are making the assumption that they are inferior. You just said that they don't belong there. Policies <laughs> I'm talking about the students that are based on the policies that you are defending right now, saying that we should have these policies that let them into these universities, not based on their skill set, but based on the color of their skin. So you are assuming that they are inferior. You stop going on about it. Stop saying that we've got to put black people in certain positions yeah. just because they're black. Same with the movies. Stop giving yeah, certain actors energy, roles bro. just because they're black. Give them the role because they're the best at the role. Yeah. It makes black people look like we've got some sort of handicap. It's ridiculous. And also, you're just recreating the problem that you want to solve because that means that white people People end up getting mugged off and they don't get to get into universities or get certain roles. So can you change your ethnicity? Is it possible? Um, no. But you can change your gender? Yes. Do you think you can change your gender? Physically, yeah. Of course you can change your gender. If you can change your gender, can you change your race? No. Why? Because that's just how you're born. Isn't you're your gender married. how you're also just born? Mm. Yeah, I see. I see where you're getting with, but right now we do have surgeries available yeah, to know. change gender. We don't have that for race yet. So maybe in the future, that could be something. No, you can't change your race. I feel like one is actually a stagnant part of identity and the other one like is serious, but it's in a different form. It's not the same concept. Race is your roots, where you were born with from, you know, ages ago. So I isn't, think- Isn't your gender where, yeah, what you're born with too? That's not true, hard. but I think uh, it's a different, like... Gotcha, bitch! So yes, if you so. can identify with a different gender, why can't you identify with a different race? The biological side of it, because race has no biological connections whatsoever. It's purely based off of physical appearances. I just asked you if it was biological, you said yes. Is recognized off of skin color. If you weren't on skin color your whole right, life. Right, because it's biological. Mm -hmm. Or I mean, sex has, yeah. has biological uh, uh, backings, but gender is not. Gender is a spectrum. You don't know what you're yeah. talking about, do you? We are 100% getting dumber as a species. It's crazy that Whoa. these people are in college. They're actually in higher education and they can't even answer a simple question. And they can't recognise when they're completely contradicting themselves. Like. And even the ones that realise they're contradicting themselves, they won't say they are because they're too scared to get cancelled by the little woke mob. A woman. What is a, that's a stupid question, dude. That's a dumb question. What is a woman? It's not a trick question. You can't answer the question with the question. Yeah, define the woman without saying woman. It's a social For the college kids of America going hundreds of thousands of dollars into debt who think it's a trick question when you ask them what a woman is. What is a woman? Oh. A woman is somebody who presents as our social conception of womanhood. So you acts in such a way. So Pixie, just can you answer that question without using the word woman or womanhood? It's because basically it would be a functional definition. So as a society, we have an understanding of what woman is. What it's is a that? Man. Yeah, that's basically. I am a man. <laughs> well then, <laughs> can you elaborate? X, X, Y chromosomes. Okay, but the problem with that is that I didn't check your chromosomes before coming in here and calling you a man, and you didn't check my chromosomes before coming in here and or genitals or genitals calling me a woman. So let me let me just play this out. So first of all, you can't give me a definition without using the word woman. That's a functional definition. Yeah, sure. Do you okay. know what functional definitions yeah, I, I'm, are? I'm very well aware, and you should have a functional definition for the most important question in civilization, no. right? Can you yeah. give me an objective, a functional, utilitarian, any sort of biological definition of what a woman is? It's a person who performs a set of social roles that are typically associated with feminine characteristics, but not necessarily, because there are even cis women who fall outside of this and we still consider them women nonetheless. Do you think anyone can become a woman? Yep, but not anyone will. Okay, so then at what point do they become a woman? It will depend on where they are in their gender transition for does the most it, part. Does it require drugs to become a woman? No. Personally, I think it's a mindset. It's a, it's a spiritual oh. energy. It's, it's the vibe that you give off, you know, like. The, the vibe? What the fuck are you talking about? What, what is a woman? Can you um, skip me? <laughs> We'll come back to her. I, know I, I am a woman. That's, yeah. a, that's the best answer. I, I'm a woman. What I don't is know. a woman? <laughs> like, I don't.
A woman is someone who identifies as a woman. What constitutes as a woman is the energy that you give off and that you want to put out into the world. So if being a woman or a female is a mindset, can your age also be a mindset? Can you just say, I feel 14, which is a classifiable mental condition, by the way? Yes, I know people that act way younger than they actually are, and they love acting way younger than they actually are. And I know people that, you know, like act way older than they are, and they, you know, and they pride themselves in that. And but if your identity can, is an energy or a feeling that can change, why would it be wrong for a 35-year-old to say he's 14, therefore... Because he's not. But then how is someone who has male parts a woman if he's I not a like woman? I that's two it's different it's things. Well, it's, it's, it's a mindset, isn't it? You can't go back in time. Your age isn't a mindset. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, well, but, like, but then why is, why is your mindset. sex or your gender a mindset yeah. and your because age isn't? Gotcha. She was talking before about a functional oh, definition. God. She's not even got a functional brain cell. Most yes. of these girls need Thank Michael. Thank you. Get some help. Guys, guys, to be honest, I, I really don't know how people can be this stupid. I don't really care if people say, I don't report my page or anything like that, but like, I believe that if you, we all know who a woman is. I mean, if you're a man and you want to become a woman, you have to go, you have to transition, right? Go through the surgery and change to a woman. Like, a woman is not just anyone who identifies a woman. A woman is someone that has SS chromosome. You have a vagina, a breast, like you are supposed to show some attribute that you are a woman, not just any nigga saying he's a woman and now he bro. And I hate the fact that women are actually like promoting this. In the sense that it's stupid because I don't know where where the feminists came up from. Like you guys wanted equality to men. Now you guys are accepting men to be in your space. So we can rule over you. Like, are you guys not rough? This this is stupid. Like, I I can say this is stupid. But I tell you one thing about this. Just like, just got my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.